When threading your FAF Select machine, the first thing you need to do is to place a reel of thread onto the machine and then place a spool stopper onto the end to stop the thread moving. Then we take our thread, it's always best to hold it between your fingers because then you can clip it into the various clips. So we go into this first one here and then we come back out of the second one on the left hand side. Then we have a third clip just here and now we need to put the thread onto our bobbin. So simply thread up through the hole in the bobbin, pop your bobbin onto your bobbin winder and turn it around with your finger until it clicks down and engages. Then we push our bobbin across to the right hand side and this will engage our bobbin winder. Undo the centre part of the hand wheel here by turning it anti-clockwise and now we're ready to wind our bobbin. Once we have enough thread on our bobbin, we can just push the bobbin winder back to disengage, do up the centre of the hand wheel so that the rest of the machine is back into operation, and take the bobbin off, ready to thread into our bobbin case. When placing the bobbin into the bobbin case, it's important that you do it so that the bobbin spins clockwise when you pull the thread. All you have to do then is to pull the thread up behind the tension clip and make sure that the bobbin is pulling freely. Once we've done that, we can pull out the clip on the bobbin case and this will actually stop the bobbin falling out of the case. And then we can place it into the machine with the gap up at the top. Push it fully home and then release the clip. When threading the top of your FAF Select sewing machine, it's most important to make sure that the take-up lever is in its fully up position and also that the presser foot is lifted into the up position as well. Then you can take your thread and pull it into the first clip just here, which is the same one as we went to when we were winding a bobbin. But instead of coming back on ourselves, we go forwards into the second clip. From here, we come forwards down through the tension unit. There's a central blade on this tension unit and it doesn't matter which side you go, as long as you're in this left hand channel. So we've pulled it fully down there and then back up and into our take up lever. Make sure that the thread is right through the eye of the take-up lever. We can then go down to thread our needle. Next, we pull the thread into one of these two clips above the needle. Doesn't matter which side you use. I normally use the right just because I find it easiest. A very good thing to do at this stage is the presser foot is up from our threading. And what we need to do is just pull a little bit of thread through the machine and make sure it pulls nice and easily. Then we can lower the presser foot and at this stage you should have a lot of tension on that thread. There should be a significant difference in the tension between the, knee, between the presser foot down and the presser foot up. So we leave our presser foot down and we're now ready to thread the needle. Now we can just place our thread through the eye of the needle and then turn the machine in the correct direction of rotation one complete turn to bring up our bobbin thread from underneath. Place the two threads through the gap in front of the foot so that they're coming out towards the back. We're now ready to sew.